Well, hello everybody. I haven't baked anything in a while because I've been kind of sick for a few weeks and I was trying to stay away from sugar. And um, anyway, I'm kind of ready to get back in the baking mode. And I want to make something fast though. I'm not going to make anything extravagant. I'm going to start off making something real easy. And that is a cinnamon muffin. And the cinnamon muffins are kind of like a churro, if you know what those are, or it kind of has a uh, snickerdoodle flavor because it's got sugar and cinnamon topped off on them. So it's a really like fast recipe. And that's what I'm gonna start off with today. So I think you're really gonna like this if you want something really fast and, and not real sweet, but something kind of mild with that really good flavor. I think you're gonna like this. So. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Okay, the first thing you're going to do, it's going to be 12 muffins that this recipe makes. You're going to grease and flour, or you can use muffin cups, paper cups, which I actually have. I forgot. And, or you can spray this with an oil. I've never used an oil spray, but that's what you can do with this. So now I'm going to show you all the ingredients. So these are all the ingredients you're going to use. I've already measured everything out. And I have to melt five tablespoons of butter. I have a cup and a half of flour, a half a cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and those are in with the flour. And then, like I said, I have the five tablespoons. I have to melt that butter. I have one room egg, one room temperature egg, and I have a half a cup of warm milk. So first I'm going to mix all my dry ingredients together. And then I'm going to add um, my wet ingredients and, and the melted butter will be one of them. And your oven should be preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to want to partially beat your egg like this. And then you're going to put all your dry ingredients in your mixing bowl, which is the flour, the nutmeg, the salt, the baking powder, and the sugar. And you're going to whisk everything together so everything's really well mixed. Just like this and then after that you're going to add your warm milk your um, egg mixture and your uh, five tablespoons of melted butter and you're just going to add all that in and then you're going to mix everything together and this is your batter so we'll mix all of this together and we do also have uh, a cinnamon and sugar mixture and this is going to be when we're done baking them you will um, dip them in melted butter or turn them over and uh, just put dip them in sugar and cinnamon so we're going to finish mixing this okay, so our batter is all mixed together so all you're going to do is take like a little ladle and just kind of uh, a little over half full something like that however much either anywhere from half full to Three quarters of the way. We're going to start with this much and see how much. It's supposed to fill 12 cups, a dozen of these little cups. So I'm going to go through this and fill each one and I'll be back. Okay, we're all finished. I was only able to get 11. So I'm missing one, but that's okay. Sometimes I'm, you may not get exactly what they say. You might get a little more or you might get a little less. So I'm going to put this in my 350 degree oven. Okay, the bake time is 20 minutes, but I'm going to set my oven, my timer for 15. So these are ready. They're done. You just put a toothpick in and it comes out clean and you know they're done. And they are normally turning out light like this. The color is light. That's how they're supposed to be. So I'm going to take them out and let them cool about two minutes. So while my muffins are cooling, I'm going to melt three tablespoons of butter so that we can dip the muffins in the butter before the sugar and cinnamon. Okay, um, these should be warm because they stick better when they are. So these are what the bottoms look like. You can see they're nice and golden. So what we're gonna do is, here you have your melted butter and here you have your sugar and cinnamon mixture. So you're just going to take one of your muffins, take them individually and just kind of dip them in the melted butter like that. And then you're going to dip them in the sugar and cinnamon. It's so easy. 
And if you have children or grandchildren, this would be a lot of fun for them. And it's a quick recipe. That's why my first baking uh, recipe I'm doing is something like this where it's really easy. I haven't baked in a while and I, I'm not ready to go full force yet. I, I do have a couple of recipes that I've promised a few people that I will make. I haven't forgotten. I never forget my promises, but um, I'm going to finish doing this and then we're going to do it. I'm going to cut one in half so you can see kind of that looks so yummy. So I'm going to taste it now. Okay, let's give it a try. Like I said, these are really um, not real sweet. They're, they're just perfect. Mmm. Really good. You can taste um, a little hint of the nutmeg in it, which is just right. And, of course, the butter and sugar and cinnamon, but it's just a perfect, like, breakfast with coffee. It's something that would be really good with coffee in the morning. And just a really quick dessert if you don't want to put a lot of work into it. So, I hope you give this a try. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.